Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, and by the Brick Street Foundation. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Abracadabra. Welcome, welcome. Uh, say, Joey, what's this? Oh, night, this is my latest invention. Oh, no. Well, what is it? It's my no fat, no sugar with cream maker. No fat and no sugar with cream maker. It's the healthy way to make whipped cream. Really? Yeah. Want to see it? Okay, go ahead. All right, well, first I use no fat milk, and I'll pour some in here. There we go. That's good. And then I have a very special ingredient. I put this in. What type of ingredient? It's my secret ingredient. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Now I turn it on. Right there, like that. Oh, I, I hear that noise. What's that doing? Oh, it's mixing it up. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Joey, uh, it, it's getting louder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I, I don't like it when you say, uh-oh. Well, I don't know what's going on. It's making so much noise, and I don't understand it. Fix it. Me? Yeah, do something. Well, uh, let me see what I can find. Okay, please. Uh, oh, look. It, it looks like there's something stuck. Well, help it. Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, pfft. Oh, Joey. Oh, this is going to need a lot of work. Oh. It's time to play the more or less game. I'm going to show you two sandwiches. You have to decide which one has more fat. Today's contestants include a turkey sandwich and a bologna sandwich. Which one has more fat? If you chose the bologna sandwich, you are correct. The bologna sandwich has three and three quarters teaspoon of fat, which isn't very healthy. The turkey sandwich only has three quarters of a teaspoon of fat. Choose foods with less fat and you'll always be a winner. Did you know Malgorillas can eat over 40 pounds of grass, leaves, and roots a day? That's the same as you eating 500 bags of potato chips. Did you know that insects don't have blood? They are filled with green or yellow goo. <laughs> oh, boy. I... Oh. Hi, Clock. Yes, I'm afraid Joey's at it again. Yes, thanks, Clock. Oh, oh hi, kids! Hi, hi, Mike! <laughs> oh no, Joe is inventing again. Yeah. Oh, we'd better stay out of his way. I like Joey's inventions. Mm. Only the ones that work. You're right, Katie, and this one needs some work. Speaking of work, can you show us a magic trick? Yeah! <laughs> sure, I'd love to. Let me see. Oh, I have something brand new. Let me show this to you. This is really pretty. It's a little jewelry box. And inside, you can see that there are six jewels, all different colors. Tell you what, Katie, um, I'm going to turn my back, and I want you to pick up one of these, any one you want, and show it to everybody, and then put it back in, and then let me know, and I'll turn back around. All right? All right, good. Let me do that. Go ahead and choose whatever one you want, and show it to everybody. And then put it back in. Okay. Okay? All right, good. Now, you had your choice of any of these jewels. Okay. Well, inside the drawer, there is a prediction. See that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it out. 
and open it up. And I want to show you what I predicted. It says you will pick the purple one. Is oh, that what wow. you picked? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Magicians never reveal their secrets. That's right. Come on, we've got to go do homework. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi, 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 hi. Mike! <laughs> what, Daisy? I just heard Nastini is sick. He's sick? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Mike, what are we going to do? You know Nastini's not going to go to the doctor. He doesn't eat healthy, nutritious foods that'll help his body get better. That's true. You need to go see him. Well, his brother Nastini, too, is still with him, isn't he? Oh, gosh. Are you serious? What's that going to do? He's just as bad as Nastini. Well, that's true. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me go over and see if I can help. Good. All right, good. I'm going to head down. Come on, come on. Let's go. Hi, girls and boys. Well, you know, Mike is always doing magic tricks. So I have a fun science experiment that looks like a magic trick. I call it my magic jumping coin. To do this experiment, you need a pan of very cold water and then you need a glass bottle and a quarter. So what you want to do is you want to get the bottle really cold, the end of the bottle really cold, and the quarter really cold. And then when you're ready to do the experiment, what you do is you take the bottle out of the cold water, these have been in here a few minutes, and you take the bottle out, and then you take the coin, and you want to put the coin directly over the top of the bottle so it completely covers the opening. And then you take your hands and you wrap your hands around the bottle like this. And then watch what happens. In a few seconds, you see that? The coin actually lifts off of the top of the bottle. See that? Our magic jumping coin. So what's going on? When I first took the bottle out of the cold water, the air inside of the bottle was really cold. And then when I took my hands, which are warm, and placed them around the bottle, it started warming up the air inside of the bottle. And then that caused what's called thermal expansion. And what happens with thermal expansion is the air molecules expand. And as they expand and as it gets warmer inside of the bottle, those air molecules want to get out of the bottle, so they start pushing up or applying pressure on the coin and that's what lifts the coin up off the top of the bottle. Our magic jumping coin. Well, boys and girls, this fun science experiment actually teaches an important principle that temperature and pressure are related. Girls and boys, if you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Oops! Now watch this. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, can't you find something to cure my flu too? Patience, brother. Uh. I think I've got something right here. Let's see. This is a spell to get rid of a ringing in your ears. Uh. No. How about a singing in your lips? No. Warts on your nose? A cold in your toes? Oh, this book doesn't have any of the right answers. Oh, brother. <laughs> Got you! Hi, guys. Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I heard that Nastini was sick, so I thought I'd come over to see if I could do anything to help. Oh, Mike, don't you have a spell to cure my flu? Spell? No, I don't have a spell, but I think if we worked on your nutrition and got you to drink more water, we'd get you better. <laughs> Who ever heard of a Nastini eating healthy foods? Bah! I, I, two's right, Mike. I will not eat healthy foods. Uh, uh, why, it's against the villain code. The villain code? Don't you know that you have to eat healthy in order to get well? Uh. Oh! I think I found it. Right here. It's a spell to rid you of all your ills. Uh, uh, let me have that. <coughs> uh, 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 wait a minute. This spell doesn't get rid of your ills. This spell gets rid of your eels. Oh. Oh. Oops! <laughs> <laughs>
it's gonna be a long day. All right, everyone, hold your right leg out for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now your left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Salty, salty. What's all the commotion? Well, I'm sorry to bother you, Salty, but I, uh, uh interesting outfit. Well, uh, ye interrupted me uh, during the rehearsal for the annual ship's play. I see, so you're playing a dog in the play? Oh, and what's wrong with that? Well, nothing. I, I, I was just surprised. <laughs> well, dogs is man's best friend. Yes. And, uh, dogs are smart. I see, yes. Want a bite to me bone? Uh, I'll pass, thank you. Well, why did you call me? Well, why did... Oh, yes. You see, Nastini is sick. He has the flu. No. Is that uh, catchy? Well, it can be. Oh, then I'm off. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> I was wondering if you had a cure for the flu. <laughs> Cure for the flu. Well, do you? Oh, me boy, ye are barking up the wrong tree. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> get it, barking. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Well, I've got to get back to me rehearsal. Please do come see this show. It's going to be dog gone good. <laughs> get it, dog gone. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> ta ta for now. Bo Uh, salty? I... Oh. It's time for a quick trick. Daisy, cut the cards. Okay. Anywhere you want. I'm going to mark your cut right there. And I have some cards that are Joey the Mind Reader. Oh. See that? And it's empty in his crystal ball right mm -hmm. there. Can you initial this just so that we know that it's your card? Sure. Great. And I'm going to take that card and I'm going to just place it face down right over here. Let's take a look at what you cut to. You cut to the seven of hearts. Mm -hmm. Turn over the card. Take a look, <gasps> you see Joey has the seven of hearts. Wow. Can you have Joey select your assistant's card? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by olives. Olives are one of the world's most widely enjoyed foods. They grow on Olea europea trees, which can live for hundreds of years. There are more than 25 million acres of olive trees planted worldwide. Olives have been cultivated in parts of the Mediterranean for at least 5,000 years. Spain is the single largest producer, growing 6 million tons per year. That's a lot of olives. Olives? are a good source of iron, copper, and dietary fiber. Be sure to try some olives soon before they disappear. Enjoy some olives in a salad or on your pizza today. Now here's the quick trick secret. First, I'm going to show you how you can force the Seven of Hearts on your assistant. Take a deck of cards and place it on the very bottom of the deck and turn the whole deck over. Now have your assistant cut the cards. You complete the cut and you're taking the Seven of Hearts and you're placing it actually on top. Now, when you're ready to force a card, you simply lift off the half of the cards on top and that's the card that was on the bottom of the deck, the Seven of Hearts. So that's how you get to seven hearts. Now for the second half, you need to go to our website and print off two types of Joey cards. One, Joey the Mind Reader with an empty globe, and one with the seven of hearts printed in it. Print off a bunch of each of the cards. Take the one that's empty and cut it in half. 
So we just want the bottom half of the globe. We're going to take that bottom half and we're going to place it over the cards with the seven of hearts, hiding the seven of hearts. Then we're going to put a rubber band around all that. I've already done that with this setup right here. Okay, see that? Mm -hmm. It looks like Joey just has an empty globe. But you're actually seeing the half card down here and the Joey with the seven of hearts behind it. Now, ask your assistant to sign the card. Go ahead, Daisy, sign the card. You have him sign it at the top because you don't want to use the bottom half. And now, when you, when you uh, turn it away from your audience, you're actually going to take out the top card. I'm going to do it right here so you can watch. You see, if I take off this card, I'm pulling out the one with the seven of hearts and leaving the half card. So then I turn it over, I show that you chose the seven of hearts, and then I have you turn over the card, and you see that Joey selected the seven of hearts. And that's the Quick Trick secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to visit our website. In the meantime, try this one at home, and you'll even fool yourself. Say, clock, what time is it? Do you think that Nastini will eat the chicken soup that you're making, Daisy? I sure hope so. You know, chicken soup has a lot of good nutrients and is good for you when you're sick. Now what? Well, the chicken's already in the pot, along with some spices, and I've cut up some carrots and onions, mm -hmm. so we're gonna put that in next. That's good. <laughs> wow, that looks great. Now we just need to let it simmer. That's right. Very good. Okay, there we go. Thank you. This is going to be great soup. It sure is. <laughs> hey, Salty, I wanted to show you a new trick I just got. Oh, yes. It's called the Lone Stranger, and I'll show you why. You see, inside the deck, it, there's one blue card. And my favorite color. <laughs> I'm going to bring the blue card to the top. Okay. And I want to show you all the rest of the cards. You can see that they're all different. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, here's what I want you to do, Salty. I'm going to fan out the cards, and I want you to select any card but the Lone Stranger. Uh, all right, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, no. Okay, that one right there. Okay, I'm just going to out jog it so that I can't force it on you. And I'm going to also uh, move out the Lone Stranger because I want to show you something. Okay, when you turn them both over, look at that. Oh! Hi-yo card trick! <laughs> Wonderful. Well, uh, Micah, not to change the subject, but I've been thinking. I believe that Nastini needs more fresh fruits, vegetables, and protein in his diet. And I have some very special protein on board my ship. So, ta-ta for now! Salty? Wonder what type of protein he's got. Oh, hi, Daisy. Salty and I were just talking about Nastini and how we can make him well. Well, I'm making him some chicken soup. Oh, I love chicken <laughs> soup. You know, Salty was saying that Nastini needs more vegetables and fruit and protein in his diet. Mm -hmm. He went back to his ship to get some sort of protein, but I was wondering, maybe we should go to the farmer's market and pick up some fruits and vegetables. That's a great idea. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> oh, soup! <laughs> oh, but it needs something! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful! Now it needs something else! Well, uh, so that's Nastini's soup. It smells good, but, uh, huh, seems like it's missing something. Uh, oh, I know! Illusion! Illusion! You can't have too much chicken in chicken soup. I could only find a rubber chicken, but, uh, close enough. <laughs> Illusion! Just need to check the soup. Mmm, not bad. But it needs something else. I know. 
need something hot, like jalapeno peppers. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Oh, and it could use some garlic. This is gonna be great soup. I almost forgot. <laughs> Octopus. That's what this soup needs. <laughs> A great chef. <laughs> this is going to be great. Wow. Wow, look, Daisy. Here we are at the Capital Market. Look at all the fruits and vegetables. You know, Mike, I think they sell more fruits and vegetables here than I do in my garden shop. <laughs> I bet you're right, Daisy. Why don't we go see if we can find some things that'll help Nastini feel better? Okay. Okay, come on, let's go. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. What are these? These are nectarines. Oh, well how can you tell the difference between a nectarine and a peach? Well, a nectarine is very smooth, but the peach has fuzz on it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What are these, though? Look these are donut peaches. Yeah, they're really strange looking. Donut peaches? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean you could actually have a healthy donut? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we should try get some of those for this. Oh, but well. he'll like those. Yeah, this is terrific. Look at all these peaches. Mm -hmm. What's this plant? Well, do you know what that is? That is an eggplant. But this is the kind of eggplant I grow on my farm. Well, that's true, but there are different varieties of eggplants. Oh. This is the one that most people are familiar with, the sort of egg shape. Mm -hmm. But eggplants come in all colors and shapes. For instance, this one is an eggplant, and this is also an eggplant. Wow. See that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And they're very healthy for you as well. market today. I know. Look at all these fresh fruits and vegetables that we were able to get for Nastini. Well, I've got to get back. I have to check on my soup. I hope Nastini appreciates all this. We'll see, Mike. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, oh, here it is. Uh, uh, here's a spell to cure you from a bite from a fox. Uh, no. Oh, maybe, maybe this. Here's a spell to cure you from chicken pox? Oh. <laughs> oh boy, you're no help. Hey, Nestini, we brought you some chicken soup. Uh? I made it myself. Chicken soup? My brother won't eat that. It's too uh, good for you. Uh, wait, I'll try the soup. But, but, but it's good, 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 good for you. You can't do that. Uh, the villain's code doesn't have the flu. Heck with the villain's code. Uh, I'll try the soup. Good for you, Nastini. Mm. Mm. Can I have some more, please? Of course. It has lots of vitamins and nutrients and will help you get better. I like food like chicken soup. Whenever I feel sick I like food like chicken soup It helps me feel better Quick Feed your body every day With the healthy food it needs Food with lots of nutrients 
nutrients that's also good to eat. I like food like chicken soup whenever I feel ill. I like food like chicken soup. It's better than a pill. Foods with lots of vitamins and proteins what you need. If you're careful about the food you eat, you'll feel strong and healthy. I like food like chicken soup whenever I feel sick. I like food like chicken soup. It helps me feel better quick. So stay away from sugary and fatty, junky foods. And have yourself some vegetables. Chicken soup. I like food like chicken soup. I like food like chicken soup. I like food like chicken soup. What a day, yes, Joey. But at least Nastini is feeling better. Well, that's good, yes. What are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned that when you get sick, it's still important to eat healthy foods to help you get well. That's right. You know, you still have to take the medicines that your doctor gave you, but it's also important to eat foods with lots of vitamins and nutrients. Say, Nike, why did the V go to the doctor? I don't know, Joey. Why did the bee go to the doctor? Cause she had hives. I, oh, say goodbye, Joey. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Hi. Hives. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a look. I... <laughs> Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org.